From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Health is wealth, but we are constantly threatened by virus and bacteria in our daily life. We can lead a balanced life only if we have the proper knowledge about diseases. Today we will get to know about lupus. Lupus erythematosus is a name given to a collection of autoimmune diseases in which the human immune system becomes hyperactive and attacks healthy tissues. Symptoms of these disease can affect many different body systems including joints, skin, kidneys, blood cells, heart and lungs. The most common and severe form is systemic lupus erythematosus. Under normal function, the immune system makes proteins called antibodies in order to protect and fight against antigens such as virus and bacteria. Lupus makes the immune system unable to differentiate between antigens and healthy tissues. This leads the immune system to direct antibodies against the healthy tissues, not just antigens, causing swelling, pain and tissue damage. Types of lupus Several different kinds of lupus have been identified, but the type known as lupus is known as systemic lupus erythematosus or SLE. Other types include discoid drug-induced and neonatal. Discoid lupus is characterized by a rash that appears on the face, neck, and scalp and does not affect internal organs. SLE is more severe than discoid lupus because it can affect any of the body's organs or organ systems. Some people may present inflammation or other problems with only skin and joints, while other SLE sufferers will see joints, lungs, kidneys, blood, and the heart affected. This type of lupus is often characterized by periods of flare when active and periods of remission when inactive. Drug-induced lupus is caused by a reaction with certain prescription drugs and causes symptoms very similar to SLE. The drugs include hypertension medication called hydralazine and a heart arrhythmia medication called procainamide. 400 other drugs can also cause the condition. Drug-induced lupus is known to subside after the medication is stopped. Neonatal lupus occurs when a mother passes autoantibodies to a fetus. The unborn and newborn child can have skin rashes and other complications with the heart and blood. Usually a rash appears but eventually fades within the first six months of the child's life. Today we will talk about systemic lupus erythematosus. Let's first know the symptoms of SLE. Symptoms can vary and can change over time. Common symptoms include butterfly rash on the face, appetite loss, hair loss, fever, photosensitivity, Raynaud's phenomenon, pleuritis, pericarditis, severe fatigue, joint pain, joint swelling, headaches, anemia, blood clotting problems. Other symptoms depend on the part of the body the disease is attacking such as the digestive tract, the heart or the skin. So what causes SLE? The exact cause of SLE is unknown but several factors have been linked with the disease such as Genetics. The disease isn't linked to a certain gene but people with lupus often have family members with other autoimmune condition. Environment. Environmental triggers can include ultraviolet rays, smoking, certain medication, viruses, physical or emotional stress, trauma, UV rays from fluorescent light bulbs, exposure to silica dust, sulfur drugs, diuretics, some sensitizing tetracycline drugs, penicillin or other antibiotic drugs, infections, cold or viral illness, exhaustion, injury, emotional stress such as divorce, illness, death in the family or other complication, stress to the body such as surgery, physical harm, pregnancy, or giving birth. Sex and Hormones SLE affects women more than men. They may experience more severe symptoms during pregnancy and with menstrual periods. So medical professionals believe that the female hormone estrogen may play a role in causing SLE but not confirmed. Biomarkers Biomarkers are another significant area of lupus research. Researchers have identified the following as potential biomarkers. Anti-double standard DNA antibodies and complement C3A both found in blood tests as biomarkers for flares. Proteins in the urine of people with renal disease caused by lupus. C-reactive protein CRP made by the liver. Diagnosis of SLE. The symptoms of lupus help in diagnosis. No one single test is diagnostic for SLE, but screening that can help your doctor come to an informed diagnosis include blood tests for lupus. In people with a positive ANA, more tests are usually performed to check for other antibodies that can help confirm a diagnosis. 
Doctors usually order an ANA panel which checks for the following antibodies. Antiphospholipid, anti-double standard DNA, anti-SMID, anti-U1RNP, etc. Diagnostic tools for lupus include medical history, complete physical exam, laboratory tests including complete blood count, CBC, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, urinalysis, blood chemistries, complement levels and other autoantibody tests, chest x-ray, skin biopsy, kidney biopsy. Living with lupus and treatments. Treatment overview. Your treatment will depend on how severe symptoms are, whether organs are involved and if your daily life is affected. Home treatment, reducing your daily stress, will help you control lupus symptoms. Medications. While medications can't cure lupus, they can control symptoms and possibly prevent organ damage. Surgery. Surgery is only considered when lupus has seriously damaged the kidneys. Other treatment, relaxation therapies can greatly improve your quality of life. You may need specialist doctors to treat the many symptoms of lupus. Your healthcare team may include rheumatologist, doctor of joint problem and arthritis, clinical immunologist, doctor who treat immune system disorders, nephrologist, hematologist, dermatologist, neurologist, cardiologist, endocrinologist, dietitian, occupational therapist, nurse, psychologist, social worker. Once lupus has been diagnosed, the doctor or rheumatologist will develop a treatment plan based on the patient's age, sex, health, symptoms, and lifestyle. The doctor will aim to prevent flares, treat flares when they occur, reduce organ damage, and other problems. Types of medications used in the treatment of lupus include NSAIDs, antimalarials, corticosteroids, immunosuppressives, hormonal therapies such as DHEA, intravenous immunoglobulin. According to Cleveland Clinic, specific medications used to treat lupus include steroid creams that can be directly applied to rashes, hydroxychloroquine brand Plaquenil for lupus-related skin and joint disease. Cyclophosphamide is a chemotherapy drug used to treat severe forms of lupus. Azathioprine is a medication originally used to prevent the rejection of transplanted organs. Methotrexate, brand Rheumatrex, is another chemotherapy medication used to suppress the immune system. Mycophenolate, Mofetil are chemotherapy drugs used to treat more severe forms of lupus especially in lupus that affects the kidneys. The Limumab and Rituximab are monoclonal antibody that reduces the activity of white blood cells that makes autoantibodies. Do not try any of this medication without talking to your doctor. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.